Hi and welcome to AD Academy. In today's video we are going to talk about the physical system modeling of this very simple spring mechanical system. We will also discuss how to draw a block diagram for this very simple mechanical system by using the free body diagram and the equations that we will drive from that free body diagram. To draw a, f um, a block diagram first of all we have to draw a free body diagram of this very mechanical system given on this side. First of all, before I go into any details, I would like to tell about the given variables of this uh, diagram. As we can see, Fi representing the input force, Xt representing the displacement, K as a spring constant and M representing the mass. So, to draw a free body diagram, first of all, what we have to do is to draw a block of a mass exactly whatever is given in the diagram and draw the input force in whatever direction is provided. Now, the second thing we have to know is the force which will apply below the mass block as a reaction of a spring. Now, what's going to happen here is when we'll apply the input force in this direction, the spring will push the mass upward, which means the force at this point is called Fk, which is in this direction. And we know the displacement from this point below is represented at Xt. So now we got our um, uh, free body diagram. Now all we have to do is to write down the equations that we require to draw a block diagram. So the very first equation that we're going to start from is um, our uh, force equation, which we know is F equals to MA. Let's give this equation equation number one. And we know that um, uh, we have a spring constant K at this point, and which is taken from the Hooke's law as we know the simple harmonic motion. So we're going to write down K and X here. And let's give this an equation name equation number two. So the third equation is going to be the total force acting on this mass, which we give a variable name as F net. And in this mass, we know there are two forces working, which is one is one Fi and one is Fk. So now we know that Fi is going downward and Fk is going upward. So now always remember Fi is our original force and Fk is our reactive force. So always remember any reactive force which is in the same direction as the original force we will add that force into the original force and any force which is in the opposite direction of the original force we will negate it we will minus it which is in this case. So what we're going to write down here is Fi minus Fk. And let's give this equation equation number three. Now um, we got our Fi and now we have to find out the equation for Fk. And as we know Fk is a force produced by the spring in the presence of a spring constant. So what we are going to do is to k times x as we can see from this Hooke's law. The k is a spring constant times the displacement um, displacement taken by the spring and we know the displacement that we are going to have for this mass because of this spring is going to be between this point to this point and at this point we know the displacement is represented by xt but at the ground point we know there is no displacement this is a uh, this is a steady point and at that point the displacement is zero so what we're going to do is to k times xt minus ground which is zero so we are going to do xt minus zero and we can rewrite this equation as k xt and let's give this equation equation number four so for this very simple mechanical system we got all the necessary equations that we can easily draw our block diagram one more thing that i would like to tell about the uh, about the block diagram is whenever you were drawing a block diagram we have to start from the from the integral part now what that integral part is as we know there is um, there is a displacement here 
displacement at this point so we have to remember that displacement is the second derivative second derivative and it happens when you integrate the acceleration you will have a velocity and when you will integrate the velocity you will get displacement so which means there are two integrals so with two integrals means in our block diagram we are going to have uh, two blocks of integrals one at here and one at this point which means we got an acceleration entered into the integral part we are having a velocity as an output and we are integrating the velocity again to have that x and that says xt because xt is the variable given to us in the diagram so we'll put the same variable now we go to our a here now what's the beauty of starting the block diagram from the integral section is you can go towards the output section easily and you can go towards the input section in the same way as well because you know that the a is the acceleration which is taken from uh, which is taken from our equation number one from here and if we can just make a as a subject of our equation we can drive that a equals to f over m and we know f times 1 over m so we can just put a new block here which is 1 over m and the force entered here is our f which is our f net total force so now we got our f net and we know f net is taken from this equations which means there are two input forces there, there are two forces one is fi and one is fk we know when we have a two input forces having a sum we just use a summation block we'll put this positive fi and negative fk so we got this input force we got this minus fk as an input force as well here to produce the total input force which is f net going into the mass which we have represented just here and we know fk is um uh, our fk is here which means this fk is taken from this equation and in this equation we can see is k times xt will give us fk so which means we have to now produce a k times xt as we can see in this diagram we have xt given here and we don't have a k so which means we are going to send this xt into this point like this we are having a xt going multiplying by k will give us fk here and that's how we are done with this block diagram it's a very simple procedure to write down a block diagram for a very simple mechanical system and um, if anyone have any issues in understanding or any queries or any other questions please uh, comment in this video this is my first video and this is also my first channel the only purpose of this channel is to help as many people as i can and please like subscribe and comment on my channel and let me know if any uh, changes i can make to make this video better and how i can make a better understanding for these questions i will also do the complex diagrams in my further um, videos as well and it's my request a very humble request to please like subscribe and comment and please share this video with your friends and followers and please give me a comments and i will see you in the next video thank you very much